Thank you, Martin. Uh, as you introduced, we are focused on pheromones. But today, I'm going to talk something new. It's a kind of protein. This protein was uh, discovered by two Chinese uh, scientists from Chinese Ancrata University. So the name is Vedal, a novel type of biostimulant, and it's used on rice. And today on my report, I will tell what is Vedal, how Vedal was produced, and its functions, especially its use on rice. Okay. So as everybody might know, one fungi called the Vasilio daglia is very common for many crops. And these gentlemen, Mr. Chi and Mr. Gong, discovered the protein from this uh, fungi and named it Vedal. Why we call it Vedal? Because it's kind of protein like a Vaticillium daglia, ASPF2-like protein. That's the name came from. And down, you can see the formula of this protein. It's not heavy, it's only uh, 27 kD. Okay, when we uh, discover this protein first, we have to do the test to see how it works. This is the very beginning, very first uh, test on cotton. We uh, treated the leaves of cotton and then soaked in the liquid of this uh, fungi. You can see three days and six days, you have very big difference. So at the beginning, we are thinking to make this uh, protein a kind of uh, a plant of, uh, vaccine. But when we do the test, we find out it almost works on every kind of crops. So far, we have done tests on cotton, rice, wheat, vegetables, fruit, Etc. It's about 50 crops we have done the test. So we have uh, applied the patent in China, three Chinese uh, invention patent. Also, we uh, applied like uh, two PCT internationally in 17 countries, including the EU. And how Vida was produced? This is like maybe we're like much concerned the problem. Uh, and clearly, we transferred the protein gene pieces into E. coli bacteria. And then we make it uh, fermentation for about 30 hours. We use the whole liquid to spray and dry it. Then we get the dry powder. The dry powder can be stored in two years. So far, we have the test. It's two years. It's still working the same. Okay. When we have the powder, we have to find out if the protein is working or is something from the bacteria else working. So we do the test to see the bio activity. So we use pure protein, more than 90%, and the raw powder and control of water to see how it works. And on this test, you can find out this is a pure protein, more than 90%, is the same as the raw powder. And also, like, we get the official name from China Pesticide Committee, Standard Committee. It's uh, Vidal, it's like official name now. And also, we have done the test on this non-toxicity. So far, like, we found out it's uh, degraded in three, four days for nothing. So, nothing left. It basically is almost non-toxic. And how we will use Vidal? This is like also very important and more important. You can use it for foliage spraying, like on the surface of the leaves. So you can use for one time or two times. It's all, all according to different crops. And you can use it for seed soaking. Normally, it's 5,000 times dilution for wheat, 20,000 times for rice. And also you can use for seed coating. You put only one to two percent this powder into the coating agent. And then you mix it, mix it evenly, you can use it. Or you can make the combined use. You can use seed coating or seed soaking together with spray. 
And so far, we find that VDL can be sprayed almost with different pesticide fertilizers. Uh, now we come to the functions of the VDL protein. First, VDL can induce the disease resistance. This is the test. You can find out, like from the picture A, if we use the VDL protein itself, have no effect on the fungus. But if you treat the, fung uh, the wheat seed with 1 to 2 ppm VDL protein, in seven days, you see the big difference. So on the right picture, you can see the control and 1 ppm, 2 ppm, and this is a different uh, protein. This can be, the uh, first one is raw powder on the right corner, and the left corner down is like a pure protein sprayed, and the, the right down part is the frozen uh, protein powder. So it's uh, the resistance to disease. And then, video also induce the wheat drought resistant. It maybe it's not only on wheat. We have the test on wheat. So, on the picture A, you can find out 1% this video protein together with coating agent, you have the best result. And also, like, they have a longer root and stronger root. Also, video can induce the high temperature resistant. This test was done in Jilin province uh, this year. We soak the seed, rice seed, in 20,000 times dilution. And then for after seedling seven days, like we keep it one day in the greenhouse. It's about 40, 45 degrees in the greenhouse without ventilation. And on the control, you can find out the top part is already become yellow and dry. On the right, you see it's green as normal. So, we do also like uh, have the resistance for spring frozen. As you might know, like in China this year, Henan province is the main wheat product, uh, production uh, province. This year, the production is almost reduced for 50%, only because of spring frozen. By chance, we have the test in Henan province. We have like uh, quite a few treatment, but the best treatment reduce the, increase the, the yield about 41%. So this is like, maybe we need more tests, but from the, all this uh, treatment, we can see it can re, uh, increase the resistance of the frozen. Also, VDL can increase the yield of different crops. So this is one test on lettuce. We have the test in greenhouse and open field. In greenhouse, there's even a higher increase of the yield, about 35 to 40 percent. But on open field, it's about 29 percent increase of the yield. And also, the taste is much more better because the sugar level is higher than the control. Also, like uh, this one test in uh, cotton, it's about 15 percent increase of the yield. Plus, the fiber is a little bit longer than normal. And also, VDAO can promote uh, maturation and improves the fruit quality. So this is one test, like we, we have done in near Beijing. You can see the very big difference. The, the, uh, the color is about like 20 days earlier than the control. Now we come to rice, because this is rice congress. So we come to rice. And we've done quite a few tests on rice. So VDL protein can promote or deprice rice seed germination. On the left picture, you can see 20,000 times dilution have longest rice germination root. It's about 234% higher longer root. But if you want to control the uh, germination uh, time to make it like a slowly. So on the right hand, you have like concentration 250, 500. So the germination is becoming slower, maybe seven days later. But it's more evenly. The germination rate is more higher. And it's later on, the growth is more stronger. 
after 10 to 14 days, you have the same height steadily. So we also have done tests on the disease on rice. So it's increased the shades blight disease. This is the test in Hunan province. We've sprayed it two times. If you see the picture like down, the form, you can find out it comes almost the same result as conventional pesticide. Also, you got like about 14% increase of the yield to, to control the to the control. This is two times spray. But if we do the one time spray with different concentrations, it also work. This is the test last year have done in Hangzhou, the China National Rice Research Institute. So we spray it one time on the hiding state, but with three concentrations. So three ppm, three ppm have almost the grade one, and the control is about five. The, the disease grade, and the index is like coming to thirteen per percent, and this control is forty-three. Also, we find out on this test this. Uh, for smooth, it's also average, it's about 50% lower. Plus, the symptom is much lighter. You can see the right is like lighter, this symptom. So, we also do test on the yield of rice. This is the test in Beijing, 2015. One time spray, 10,000 times dilution, it's about 12% increase the yield. So how about two times spray? This year we have a test in Guangdong province, and we spray it two times. Treatment one, two, three is one time spray. Three, four, five, six, four, five, six is a two times spray. You can see all increase the yield, but two times spray can even reach 41% increase of, of the yield, and the disease also like uh, much more lighter. Okay, these two more tests on Liaoning province and Henan province. The left picture we can see is very meaningful because we are using not by hand spray, we use aerial spray. One hectare is only 10 liters of liquid, but we use 15 grams this without protein. And this is very meaningful because like labor is more and more dif uh, difficult and expensive. So if we can use aerospray, it will be more efficient. Anyway, you can see from the picture, the left is yellow, it's no spray, it's control. And the right is one time spray by aerial. And uh, the data comes like two days ago, it's about 14% increase of the yield. The disease uh, index, we are still counting. We, we, we will have it later. And the right picture is in, uh, in uh, Henan province, one time spray and two times spray. So this data is not coming yet, but you can see from the picture. Left is one time spray, right is two times spray. Okay, so this is a proposed model for video because of the time, I don't like talking too much about the mechanism. So if anybody have interest, they can come, you can come to my booth, it's A5. We can discuss, I have uh, uh, my doctor there, so they can talk. So you can use a small concentration, suitable concentration, and a higher concentration. You get different result. So we call this Vidal a gift from nature, because it's like a 3E products, as we always talking. Why we call it 3E? It's efficient. It's efficient on disease. It's efficient on abiotic stresses. It's efficient on the yielding. It's efficient on the improve the quality. And it's easy. One time spray or two time spray, or simply make it like seed soaking or seed coating. And most importantly, it's economical. Everybody is asking how much it will be cost. As I told, like it's about one hectare, twenty-five dollars, one hectare. So I hope this miracle protein will help the hungry world, 
and we are open to cooperation for any crops, especially on rice. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>